how you're doing over this long weekend. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a creative, I am a singer, and I'm a wannabe coder. I'm also an unpaid carer based on the Isle of Wight. If you haven't subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button below. And also, if you want to, like, comment, share. Have you had your Easter egg yet? Has the Easter bunny come? That is the most important question today. If you did come, what kind of Easter egg did you get? I'm still waiting for my Easter bunny. I think, oh, I'm hoping maybe Sunday. Is Good Friday too early? Should, it, should we have our Easter eggs on Sunday if you haven't had them yet? Again, just let me know in the comments. So today, today I'm talking about little little spots on the island, little go-to places to go, local produce, local businesses, obviously such challenging times that we have at the moment. It's good to shop local and I found some lots of hidden gems on the island and I've actually been here for a long time, since 1984, my family have, so it's safe to say I know the island pretty well. Please excuse the noise in the background, that is my kids. It's a lovely sunny day, they're out playing, getting some sunshine and lapping it up. So we've been very lucky with the weather. Without further ado, I'm going to go into some of the places that I think are definitely worth checking out, especially if you're new to the island. If you're looking at local produce, if you haven't done so already, I highly suggest the garlic farm for all things garlic garlic butter, garlic ice cream, garlic beer. Admittedly, I haven't tried any of those yet. I don't think I've got the guts to. If you have tried it or are you going to try it, let me know again. Garlic butter, by the way, I usually have on jacket potatoes or roast potatoes or roast vegetables and it, they, it tastes amazing. I've tried other garlic butter and it just doesn't have the same kind of flavour. It, it just doesn't work for me so i definitely recommend the garlic fun it's having my tea this is my easter tea in my easter cup by the way feeling the easter feeling the easter and if you're going to talk about local produce if you like a bit of gin mermaid gin they do the most beautiful bottles as well definitely check them out a lot of people have been known to also recycle the bottles and use them as lamp bases or put sparkling lights in them or they really are be such beautiful bottles as well. So I definitely recommend checking out Mermaid Gin. The other thing I was going to mention is white salt. I actually went to Tatnall Farm Shop and they've got a lot of local produce in there. And I've got a little pot of white salt, which is locally harvested. Again, highly recommend. Good salt. I like using that. I would recommend it other i mean supermarket stuff's okay but it's always nice to get local produce and the white salt is just right again i just like to put that on my food just a little bit not too much on chips on roast potatoes getting you know definitely worth checking out if you haven't heard of them already then where have you been tomato farm is another one they i must admit i wasn't much of a tomato fan i would have kind of tomato pasta tomato sauce but I would never kind of just eat raw cherry tomatoes and I did try the tomato stall cherry tomatoes and they were absolutely amazing and so tasty the difference between them and other cherry tomatoes there is a big difference I definitely recommend checking them out they also have they also produce tomato ketchup I've had a bottle of that and the bottle is so pretty that I've kept that. So if you're quite a foodie, I would definitely recommend those. If you're partial to a bit of fish and chips, and who isn't, definitely check out the Jolly Fryer. They are around the islands, all over the place, mobile fish and chip van. If you are in West Cows or Cows, I would recommend Corrie's Cabin. Such delicious fish and chips. And I'm quite fussy about my fish and chips. But Corey's Cabin and the Jolly Fryer are definitely worth checking out. For books, check out the Down the Rabbit Hole bookshop for new and old books. Also, while you're there, do check out my friends at 51 Antiques. She has some beautiful, beautiful furniture. And if I could, I would buy up the whole shop. But I might get into trouble if I do that and budget and all that. 
The other one is Why Not Antiques. I actually got my Pine Antique blanket box from there, which sits at the end of my bed. I did have one, my mum had one, unfortunately that disappeared. So I've always wanted one, I got one and it's just fantastic for storage. Why Not Antiques, again, brilliant. And while we're talking about antiques, I would highly recommend, I know I'm saying that a lot, but some of these guys are awesome and they really do need to be praised because they work hard, is Dawes Hill Farm Emporium, which is towards the ride end and near Bridlesford Farm. Bridlesford Farm, I can't get enough of their cheese. That again, as I said, that's on in ride. So that's the opposite to where Why Not Antiques are, fresh water is, etc. And I'd recommend Dawes Hill Farm Emporium. I've got some random things from there. They do some amazing stuff in there. I have got a phrenology head, like you do, but I've always, what just again, just, you know, just random things that I collect. So a phrenology head, and I've also, which took my partner a long time to notice, by the way. And the other one was the plastic skeleton, which we've nicknamed Boo. And I saw both on their Instagram feed and I was like, I have to have him. So he's absolutely brilliant, Boo. He's sitting in my hallway at the moment, but he'll come out for Halloween on the porch. Yeah, just to air the cobwebs out, boom, boom. And um, it was quite funny because I, transporting him was interesting and I had to put him in the front seat of the car and I got quite a few funny looks driving back. But I was just thinking, well, I've got a tiny car, kids in the back, why not just put my fake, it is a fake skeleton, hence plastic skeleton, not a real one, I may add. Put it in the back, uh, put it in the back, put it in the front. And the looks I was getting was absolutely hilarious. Again, so I, I would recommend them just, it's just really interesting what they have in there. They have so many different things that it's like a treasure chest. It's fantastic. Definitely recommend them. If you're looking for flowers, highly recommend Summer Lilies of Newport. The Friendly Bunch. Oh, there is, I said it again, just can't help myself. Beautiful flowers, beautiful arrangements, beautiful plants. I have got a few things from there and I would check them out. They are in central Newport. And talking of flowers, I'd also highly recommend Blossoms of Yarmouth. They are based obviously in Yarmouth, but they have just teamed up with number 50 or 51 Antiques and they do a little, little shop in there as well. And we went in the other day and they had some really lovely china, some really lovely flowers, and they're also really lovely ladies. So I would check them out next time you are in the West White or you're just looking for antiques that side. And if you are into interiors, one of my favourite all-time shops, and it has been for years, is Style Interiors in Godsill, which is next to the Old Smithy. The Old Smithy also does the most fantastic cakes and I absolutely love the huge meringues. Does get quite busy, can quite understand that. But next door to that is Style Interiors and they do such beautiful things in there. They do Emma Bridgewater, I think Gazella Graham. If you are looking for a really, really lovely gift, do go and see them. They do china, mugs, wrapping paper, cupboard knobs of various different themes and designs, uh, cushions, blankets, everything. It's such a lovely, lovely shop. It's an absolute delight to go into there. And also, if I have the kids with me, I like to go through into the fairy garden, which is free. And the kids absolutely love that. And it's such a cute little garden. So if you go into Style Interiors and out the other door, you go straight into the fairy garden and it's so nice and there's a little pond there and everything. So it's a bit of everything for everybody when you go that kind of side to God's Hill. Has anyone got any earplugs, by the way? If you're into alternative things like crystals, steampunk, tarot reading, do go and see my friends over at Holistic Emporium in Sandown. They're a really friendly lot of people and they do various interesting things in there. I have a few crystals from there because I've liked crystal healing for quite a while. If you're into that kind of thing, do go see them. Skincare, 
I have been an avid fan of Liz Earl for probably about over 20 years since they came out. I think they came out in the mid 90s and I've never had an issue with any of their products. They're just, they're good quality, they're reasonably priced. Obviously the best seller is the cleanse and polish, polish, cleanse and porridge. Obviously their best seller is the cleanse and polish and that has they have a moisturizer as well the moisturizer is my go-to they just brought out a glow range and i was just thinking for ages please come out with a foaming cleanser and they have which is fantastic they are stocked in various different places they're stocked in boots and i think john lewis all the, all the general stores but if you are in ride do go and see them because i don't think they have many proper stores and it's really nice to still kind of have the flagship store to go oh excuse me my, my tea is making me but this by the way is burden blend and this is cream egg tea this isn't a local it is and it isn't they're actually based in brighton but they make the most amazing tea so if you are a tea lover you can check them out not strictly the island but hey i'm just gonna adopt them as islanders so there you go so if you're just wondering, on a side note. So yeah, go check out Lizelle. It is definitely worth, go and check the store out in High Street. It's it's a lovely layout, it's a lovely store with, again, very friendly staff. And if you haven't used a skincare before, do give it a go. They also do a men's range. If you are over the west side of the island and it is a cold, wet and windy day, my favourite place to get the best hot chocolate in the world, okay, maybe on the island, maybe in the world, is Gossip's Cafe, which is next to the pier. They do hot chocolate with a flake in. It is absolutely delicious and absolute heaven. So if you fancy something like that, give them a go. If you are into fresh seafood, do go and see the fishermen at the seafront in Ventnor. They have a little shop that's open for fresh fish fresh catch of the day etc they're opposite bestie and spinkies which is another great little place of mine for a little light bite and also at bestie and spinkies they have a little paddling pool of the isle of wight which is really lovely to have or to go to sorry in the summer when it's warmer with the kids because they can have a little splash around and there's picnic benches as well it does get busy though so just be warned there's a beautiful fountain coming down as well. It, it's just so lovely. So it's definitely worth a family trip or just if you want to go for quiet coffee one day, it's another option. Really want to mention this shop as well. They are an absolute gem and it's a pleasure to go into their store. That is the Christmas Imaginarium in Ride. Now I know, obviously it's April, but they are open. They are open most of the year. They are definitely worth going into. Everything you can imagine Christmas is in that shop. I have been eyeing up a felt needles. Yeah, it's a felt needles ornament. I was eyeing it up last year and I'm thinking I must go at some point and get it for the tree. I know it's April. I know it's Christmas, but it's worth going to if you're in right. There's something else I was going to get as well. Oh, yes, a queen ornament as well. I've actually got Freddie Mercury talking queen but I want the Queen and I saw that they have got some in. So that will be another stop of mine when I'm next in ride. Look at that. Also want to mention, because I like going to Bryston sometimes, Bluebells in Bryston, little shop, really nice lady owner with a little hound dog. And I, I couldn't resist. I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist. So she sells giftware and various ornaments, things like that. This one, I think, is from a place called Armica, or it's made by a, someone called, a company by Armica. Again, if you're looking for a gift, or you just want to go and say hello, or you just want to go and see her dog, I'm sure she won't mind. Do drop in. Bryston News Agents also do lovely coffees. You've also got Bryston Village Shop, which has got some local produce, including Gracie's, Gracie's? Including Gracie's Bakery. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, say hello. Is there any silent watchers out there? Does anybody, does any, is there anybody out there? And I hope you have a lovely Easter and thank you so much for watching. 
and you take care of yourselves and I'll see you next week.